All right, guys, so my desert roses, uh, I actually didn't ever got around to potting them up and it looks like they have a little bit of a mealy bug problem, so eek. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be repotting these, rehabbing them, giving them the love and care that they deserve. And uh, these guys, uh, I absolutely love them. They're in rough shape right now. When you have as many plants as I do, it's hard to stay on top of it all. And uh, I'm really kind of, you know, feeling guilty about the condition of my desert roses. I have this one plus two others. They are looking rough, but we are gonna get them better. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing uh, five things you ought to know, as well as cleaning these guys up and uh, getting them in the correct soil. I have new containers and we're gonna be just really kind of taking care of these guys as best as possible. So join me in this video for all of that, plus a little more. So first things first, uh, I wanna get these out of these containers and just kind of get rid of all of everything but the plant uh, so that I can, you know, triage this in uh, a meaningful way. So this guy is nice and snug, very healthy, very plump base, but like I said, um, this one hasn't developed any leaves as of yet and the mealy bugs um, are taking over. So I'm just gonna kind of just gently uh, remove this and hope that this guy does okay. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing um, some of the products that I use to treat um, anything like mealy bugs or any sort of pests. Uh, these things happen, so you shouldn't feel too bad about it, but obviously doing what you can to avoid this is best. And, you know, yeah, the mealybugs have taken over. So let's get, so that one is kind of, at least the base of it is kind of nice. We'll just set that aside. And I'm gonna just do the same thing for all three before getting into some of the treatments. So let's kind of remove that. Now these houseplants, um, I've done uh, a video or two on these before, so you'll have to check out those. Uh, I'll share some of the links above. These uh, I picked up from Logies in um, Connecticut. It's, uh, they sell a lot of rare houseplants and stuff like that. And I've had these um, for a few years now and I do love them. And the flowers are stunning, but um, you know, these guys have some uh, improvements to be had, especially with all of the mealybugs. So this one's sort of has some great leaves on it, but underneath are a lot of mealybugs. So we're gonna have to f work on this. All right, so that we'll just set that guy aside. Third one here. This is really snug in there, which is great. They love to be root bound and so not the worst thing ever. I did have these in a little sort of greenhouse setup um, right in my south facing window. Um, and when they didn't have mealybugs, they seemed to be doing great, but they're hard to get to in the greenhouse. So, and I feel like they might not even be as, the humidity levels in there might not be as great. So. This one's still looking really rooty. All right, perfect. Let's get rid of that. All right. So, all right, so I'm going to be using these cute little containers as their new home. And let me sort of, the first thing we can do is, um, the first product I'll share with you, so I'll be right back and get that set up. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler. If you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or better yet, you can hit that subscribe button. Now to really show me some love, click on the bell for alerts and notifications for future content. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out my merch store, tylermossup.com. So this first product that I use often, Garden Safe Insecticidal 
soap. Um, so what I've done is I've just spritzed, no sponsorship or anything here, but I've just spritzed, spritzed some of this product on a um, paper towel and I just wanna kind of go through and just kind of, you know, address the leaves and just kind of before, you know, just spraying this to hell and back, um, you know, at least just kind of give this guy a little bit of a rub down. So, I feel like mealybugs are probably the least annoying out of all of the different pet, um, you know, pest is issues you could, one could have. Um, spider mites are probably my least favorite. So, I'm just gonna kinda go back through. Just give this a good, oh, lost a leaf there. So just be gentle. We can come through and spray it after, but I just wanted to kind of give the leaves a rub down. And I'm gonna do the same thing on these two. Um, right. So this one's pretty fragile. I'm not sure if it's gonna make it, hopefully. Um, Right, yeah, there do look like there's some new leaves actually coming through, some little baby leaves on there. This one, the underside of the leaves is a major infestation. Ooh, so if that's the case, you can just kind of turn, put this upside down and just give it a really good spray. Um, all right, so. That should kind of do the trick. Just want to be careful to really, you know, not miss any. All right, so that should do the trick. Just let this kind of rest in there for now. And let's, we didn't spray this one, so let's do the same thing for this one. Okay, all right, so now that those have the uh, initial sort of treatment on those, we can sort of focus on the soil composition. So let me mix up some of the soil mix and I'll show you also an additive that I will add to the soil mix that should also help combat the mealybugs, which is a really good tip. I love to use this stuff and even if you are, um, you know, not really seeing any type of infestation, um, using this product can just help keep your mind, um, you know, keep yourself sane and know that you're at least doing something because, you know, these things can pop up, especially when you have many houseplants, you just never know what's gonna happen. So, uh, be right back. So I'm going to be using uh, a lot of sort of dry ingredients for my desert roses. Uh, I have some gravel kind of bonsai mix as well as some rocky sand and I have a little bit of um, succulent cacti mix that has some perlite and some uh, just little pieces of bark and that kind of thing. But uh, basically, uh, mostly the grit and the sand with a little bit of that cacti mix. These three ingredients are going to make up my soil mix for the desert roses. So the other sort of ingredient, systemic houseplant insect control is an additive. It's like a little kind of, looks like a little sand, little particles. Um, and this is a great additive to add to your soil mix. So you can read the instructions uh, on this product if you're interested in using it. Again, this is not sponsored or anything. I love this product to help sort of prevent uh, and also treat um, sort of any sort of pest issues. So I've gone ahead and added that um, as an additive to all of the things I just showed you um, in my soil mix and then just kind of gently mixed it all together. Um, so now I'm ready to add this um, a little bit to the base of each one so I can get these potted up. Um, so we'll see if we can do that carefully like so, I'm just gonna kind of come in and add more around. Um, yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to pot these up, um, but it has, 
and we can get into all of the crucial care tips as well. Like I said, I've done a couple of videos on this before where I really break down um, you know, the care tips for these. They can be quite uh, finicky, but I think this should be good. I'll just add a little bit more around the edges. Perfect. So, and anytime you're dealing with uh, pests or whatever, I'll probably give these containers a really good soapy wash if I can't throw them in the dishwasher. Um, and then keep an eye on these and probably spray treat them for a couple more days um, in a row. Just make sure nothing's surviving, no mealybugs are surviving. All right, so got a little base in there for this poor guy who's looking the most sort of sad. Might need to mix up some more of this mixture. I think this will just have done two basically. All right, hopefully this guy makes it. This is looking not so bad. All right. All right, two down, one more to go. And uh, then we can jump into how to care for these beautiful desert roses. So mixed up some more of this gritty mix. Just gonna put a little bit in the base of the container. that out. All right, that's better. And okay. Perfect. Actually, this might need a tad bit more of the gravel. All so I'm just gonna grab some more of that, place that around, and then we'll jump into those crucial care tips. So these are looking much, much better for the time being, uh, now that they've been treated both uh, in the soil as well as on the leaves for the mealybugs, rest in peace, goodbye mealybugs. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this one's probably looking the most sad, like I said, but it does, I promise, have some really small leaves coming through, which is really exciting. Now, when it comes to caring for these, these, I have to say, are probably not the easiest uh, houseplants to care for. Uh, they require a little bit more um, thought and consideration, and I think that's very true when it comes to uh, watering. Let's start with, well, let's start with light. When it comes to a light for your desert rose, you want to give these full sun, really, um, you know, a lot of sun as much as possible. So I keep these right in a south-facing sort of sliding door light situation, um, but a little bit set back so that they're not exposed to that cooler temperature during the winter right against the glass. And I did have these in a green greenhouse, which would also help mitigate um, those cooler temperatures because when it comes to temperature, um, you want to keep these, you know, 60, I don't even think, like probably, what am I saying? Anyways, you know, 60 would be kind of the low end of temperature uh, and I would say probably in around, you know, 80 plus Fahrenheit would be ideal um, for a desert rose. Um, that being said, um, full light, like I've explained, you wanna keep that temperature up there. Um, but when it comes to water, that's where it kind of gets a little bit trickier, like I was saying. So during the spring and summer, those growing months, you can you wanna keep sort of, you know, some moisture within the soil. Um, and then during the winter, the fall and winter months, when these things go dormant, that's when you really wanna lay off watering. Um, I probably don't water these basically for most of the winter. Um, so I would just recommend that you pay close attention to the seasonality and how you are treating that with water. Um, when it comes to humidity, these, um, you know, 
they don't hate their humidity. Humidity is just fine. Um, and you can, uh, for fertilization, you can go ahead and fertilize these in the spring and summer um, with a well-balanced liquid diluted fertilizer. So I will probably go ahead and do that, give them um, a little bit of water. The other thing too, this is a great tip, um, especially on this one, you can see that the base is just super plump. This tells me that this guy does not need any water anytime soon. If they start to kind of emaciate themselves or you know start to shrink that's a really great indication that um, it's time to water your desert rose so now that the summer is here the temperatures are warmer I've removed the greenhouse these kind of were growing above I had one of those like Ikea greenhouse things but you know they're getting taller they're getting bigger I don't want to stunt their growth by keeping them kind of restrained to that greenhouse although I think the greenhouse would be important during the cooler temperatures so for the summer um, I'm going to keep them um, in that south facing window spot as they are give them a ton of sun give them that warmer temperature and keep an eye on them for any future sort of mealy bug um, infestation and just really make sure they're getting sprayed and treated with the soil um, I think that will really help them with that soil additive so let me know if you have any questions um, I'm feeling hopeful for my desert roses and I'm gonna have to kind of update you guys on how these do and I'm just kind of you know a little bit disappointed in myself that um, I wasn't giving these the love and attention that they needed but I think they're going to bounce back just fine again any questions don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down below miss you guys already uh, yeah until the next one well that's it for me don't forget to leave a comment down below definitely give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah miss you guys already until the next one